problem. Nine inbound, everyone, more of the same. We have a demand function. We have a supply function. We're asked to find market equilibrium and say what we should do about it. Very simple. We're going to copy these and paste them into Wolfram. We're going to throw away the answer that is not possible in real life. We're going to keep the other one. Then we're going to go have a glass of milk and some cookies. Okay. So I hope so. Let's take a look at what we got here, everyone. We do have a supply function and a demand function. We've got some weird looking solutions there. Holy moly. Let's go th get those into approximate form so that we can more effectively deal with them. Negative right there. We are not going to sell something for a negative price. So that is a throwaway answer. Uh, here we do see that we have some decimals roaming around in this problem. And what we need to understand, everyone, is that we are not always talking about whole units like apples or oranges. This could be like tons of coal or gallons of milk or something like that where you could have partials of things. And so this company needs to produce and sell Two hundred and sixteen point six, and it looks like that's going to be repeating units at a price of. We can only go to two decimal places for our price. We will round it to twenty-seven point zero eight dollars each. Okay, I told you that these problems were pretty quick. That's it for number nine. We'll be back.